Hello, welcome to part four of um, Civilization V. A first look at the game and roughly how it works. And it says here I've found a natural wonder. Where? Oh, all the way down here. Don't know quite how I found it. Maybe it's just big. I can see it from the hills, perhaps. Okay. What do I do with it? Nothing. Next turn, then. It's processing turns for various players here and the city-states now. I've also, in between, reduced the um, resolution slightly, or the graphics quality slightly. It looks much the same to me, actually. Um, I'll stay here with my chariot archer at the moment, because my settler hasn't caught up yet. Got another chariot archer. Excellent. How many more times am I going to give you the order? Build a road to Rostov. Thank you. You guys can wander on down here and see where we, where we look. Go for a wander. <coughs> Are you over on the settler? Well, there's a settler travelling, so let's kind of do a wander. I could go for some trade. Let's try and do something like that. I don't know. Yep, we will accept the embassy. Hmm. I forget which era I'm in. Probably classical now, isn't it, I think? Ah, look, there's a barbarian camp up there. The settlers are here too. Good. Where am I going to settle? Somewhere around here. Oh. Anywhere that these guys are recommending. Oh. Let's go around the top, shall we? Away from those barbarian chappies. Automation options are actually available. 
just full automation, that's it. Not very good really, is it? Got a road to here then. deal with that. Yeah. More. Can't do it this guy, I guess. Next turn. Should it be friends with Korea as well? I thought I was friends with these countries anyway. Let's have a look. Oops. Ooh, great profit. Hooray. What does he do? First ranged attack on these guys. Start a golden age, construct a time room, I'll use a special power of great effect. Hooray! Thank you. I should use him to found a religion. Right. Found a religion. All right, I found a belief. It gives bonuses for player that founds a religion, and a follow belief applies to any city. Right, I don't know. Very strange. Ooh. Select an icon. Mm. Ten good. I don't even know what it is. I have the old yin and yang, I think. Select a founder belief. All right. <coughs> Go for science somehow. Follow a belief. What do they believe? 
shrines provide happiness, cathedrals. Can use faith to purchase cathedrals. Mm, don't know. Choral music. World Wonder provides two faith. Mm. Shrines and temples provide food. I like the things that do food. Plus two production of shitty and city is a specialist, right? One percent production for each follower. Fifteen percent faster food growth rate for city if not at war. Blimey. All right. <coughs> Pretty cool, that's much much improved over Civilization 4 where all religions are basically the same. In this one at least you can customize it a bit, isn't it? It's still non-judgmental about whether the religion is a good thing at all. Of course, and so on. Gotta be politically correct, hey. Scout past me and see if I. Oh. Settle. No, let's try here. There, what's that? Tundra and iron. Hmm. Ooh, the Colossus. Well. Sounds good. All the great lighthouse. Build something, an ordinary thing like a library or some guy or a caravan. I'm going to build a wonder. Who recommends great? Who's that? Military advisor recommends building this here. Hmm. No, it's money. Don't know what I'll do with it. But there you go. Go and destroy them straight off. off. <clears throat> oh. Okay. These settlers now. What to do with them? On the coast or? Well, I, I would prefer if they were on the coast.
let's go I want another chariot archer though, pretty good Friendly trade route plundered. Alright, let's be friends. Presumably if I build it on here I get the iron. So let's just do that. Oh, can I do that? It's not like it. Finished a chart finished chart after already, okay. It's nice and all, but I need settlers. I need another scout actually. Be very quick. Let's do that. What's this friendly trade route? Oh, I, can't, I don't know. Let's just check our diplomacy and see if we can be friends with other people if we're not already. Discuss. No need. Okay. Cancel any trade. Cotton for gems? I only have one gems. Is it worth I don't know if I can... In the old game it was... Um, you would have a surplus. It doesn't look like you do here. Hmm. Something quick, just for the basic defence of the city. Um, I guess I've run out of horses or something. Hmm. Strange, interesting. The resources are actually limited, which is good.
Well, these guys seem to have regained all their strength. That's a bit of a shame. Two horses out of that deal, looks good. Means I can build my chariot archers after all. So we are now friends with this city for some reason. Okay. Can I actually just go in there? I didn't want him to move out of the forest, in fact, but anyway. Can I just race in there and kill them? Does not like it, no. Alright, do a ranged attack then. But these guys will be killed instead, but that doesn't matter. Do some temples, no doubt. I want to actually attack, move to that I can't, I see. I'll move to there. Can I just attack?
Oh. Lord Eskia of Songhai. Okay, what about uh, swapping ambassadors? Good, anything else? He has gold. I have spare copper. What do you want for gold? Too much. Great writer, hooray! The more tourism I generate, the better my chances of winning a culture victory. Well, alright. So I need to create a great work of writing. Surely good. In the meantime, in Moscow, I. could do with a couple of things really, but. Aqueduct first enhances growth. I saw Rostov. Build a water mill. Eh? Promote a unit. This white little treaties create a great work. I don't know which of these is the uh, the one. I guess it's this. Settler, hooray! Another settler. But where to settle? I zoom out. I can I see? It's at the bottom of the screen here. No. Oh. Let's go to the strategic view. Let's see what it looks like. Some resources here. I guess that's why it's liking it. Oasis, what's this thing? I don't know. Copper. Stone. Sheep. I still don't know what's over here. There's somebody here. I haven't really explored it. I would like to settle somewhere here and stop these silly barbarians coming up all the time as well. There are cows. Let's have the Moscow settler go south and, and deal with this. So, let's go here. It's cotton as well, and these guys also go here. Scout, hooray! Explore automated. No. In fact, you explore. Um, the where are oh, blasted barbarians all over the place. Major victory, even though they're on a hill, go for it.
This is the richest, presumably. About 30 influences need to be friends and 60 to be allies. My current level of influence is 31, but I need to give them a fair old bit. Then if I'm an ally, what, what happens? Let's just do it and see. Right. I get their resources. Okay. Very nice. Next turn. Mm -hmm. I can keep these guys roaming around looking for silly old barbarians, I suppose. hostile by the looks of it. Something funny happened here. I thought I was going to ha have the option of building a shrine. Increase okay. city's gold output if I build temples. these two if I want to, I don't know. And I should settle here, yes. The Kathleen Bird. Be 
people are not happy. Okay. Build improvements on resources. Okay. You can automate your research, your searching now. Exploring, there we go. Okay. It's very hard expanding. I've got too many things to buy and not enough time. I'm, I guess my cities are actually not growing very quickly, and I probably have to look at that because if they grow then they have more capacity to build stuff so I should focus on the growth I, I expect these barbarians are probably not that important even though there's loads of them I mean okay I've got a few units wandering around I guess you can deal with them mind settling down here somewhere. Don't want to fight across the river but it would still be a major victory so okay go for it. You I think I want to keep the desert a bit clear of barbarians in the vicinity of my cities, so let's go and camp out on this hill. So we can keep this area clear but clear by seeing it. Moscow has built something. I can now build a horseman or a creepost or a settler. I'll do the special unit of the Ruskis next turn. Or well, the special building I suppose it is really. Again. And again, we might as well just go for it for the moment. It's more like it, matey, uh, uh, an equal deal. Okay, more or less. Probably build some awful weapons with copper. Yeah. 
minor victory. But I'm not in very good health. Horses again by the looks of it. I could do with another work, I'm sure. A temple for a settler. Oh my god, settler then. And I obviously need a worker here, this, this land is mostly undeveloped. I'm doing them manually, but I could automate them I suppose. What can I do here? I can construct a road. And here he's done a mine. And if I look at the city screen, I have a small surplus of food. So actually I need to focus on building some farms. Right, so let's just go here. Start chugging, churning out the farms. Probably it's similar here. Small, you know, it's two and a half extra food. Let's try and speed up a bit, shall we? Hmm. Ranged attack is well worth it for these guys, or they'll get me. much better. promoted. because it helps growth. And I'm going into growth mania at the moment. Right. 
So I can purchase a unit or a building. Oh, I know if Moscow has the religion because the symbol is there. Okay. How do I do this? I probably have to wait till the settler's finished, I think. And we'll see. the medieval era. And Moscow has built a settler. And where will he settle? I'm kind of tempted to go over this way. So there's good land here, after all. It's mountainous, very good for production, I reckon. There's wheat and there's marble. So I send the settler down to Rostov, initially. Construction. What's the garden for? Hmm, quick a great people. Great wall, oracle. Three free missionaries appear. Oh. Goodness me. They all help me, can't they, in a, in a way, but what on earth to do? Now I can apparently just purchase it with faith, yes. So let me just do that. Purchase. Have I done it? I don't know. Produce it. Go on. Come back. Out. Whatever it is. No idea. That's very unclear. It still says two turns here. Let's see what happens. It still says two turns here. I guess it will do it if I have the money or, or faith. Okay. St. Petersburg. Extra food, yeah. Okay. Compass allows me to build. Arranged naval unit. Or currency. It's all a bit difficult on a boat. Hmm. Oh. Pudica the pious of the Celts. 
living in Scotland, my looks of it. Truffles? Hmm. What do you want for that? Nothing. No back. Goodbye. A bowman, I have him, but the other guy in that city is the chariot, is the horse chariot thingy, which is better out here because he can move around rapidly. Composite bowman, you can sit in the city there. Ooh, another Mount Kailash. Oh, that. Settler is here. These guys are roughly where I would want to settle, to be honest. It's a good location too. But I'm thinking of somewhere down here. So I'll have a ton of production, close to a river, mountains with lots of production capacity, somewhere here.
need workers, 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 workers. This is where I'm having trouble. I'm not developing the land properly. There's lots of things when where I'm not good going so well, actually, but uh, I've got to get the basics. All the cities will not grow. Same as in Civ 4. Doesn't surprise me somehow. Okay. Uh, you can fortify yourself until healed. Settler, yes. Well, let's go heading down this way with or without reinforcements. Um, that's good enough, okay. You, okay. Don't go too close to these guys. Let's come back over here. Ranged attack on them. I suppose I have some way of controlling who's developing, uh, they're working these, I guess, okay. A workboat for water would be nice if, if we have such a thing. Great profit, hooray, what do I do with him? Enhance the religion. Mm -hmm. oh, he's done it already. He's done it already. So it's up to you guys. Goodness me, it's tough, isn't it? Extra much strength? I don't think so, but I think the spreading is a good idea. Vision spreads to friendly city states.
prophets are stronger and and with less faith. Religion spreads faster. It's a good one. And that is it for part four, I think this is, of my first look at Civilization V. I'll see you in part five, maybe in a day or two. All right.